Hello everyone, and once again, welcome to Maytech. Today is going to be our second video in our series of videos on beginner CNC bits. In this video, we're going to look at some basic types of V-bits. If you haven't already watched the first video in this series on basic end mills, I'll add a link to that video in the description box below if you'd like to watch it. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified on all future releases in this CNC bit series. Okay, let's get talking about V-bits. So, V-bits are called V-bits for the obvious reason that they'll carve a V into your material. There's a few different applications to V-bits, but typically you're going to want to use them when you want to get a carving effect or 3D effect on your material. The effect that these bits give is sometimes called 2.5D, this is referring to the V-bit process not being a true 3D process. This 2.5D V-bit process lets you achieve some of the looks of 3D CNC without the time or effort of actually having to do 3D CNC. V-bits come in different shapes and sizes, but the only real difference is the angle of the cutting tip and the diameter of the bit. Today we're going to look at two popular quarter inch bits, the 90 and the 60 degrees. And we're also going to look at some 1 8 bits in 60, 90 and 120 degrees for comparison. A wider V-bit gives you a wider, shallower cut, while a V-bit with more of an angle gives you a deeper, narrower cut. The wider angle V-bits also allow you to remove more material quicker while the narrower angle bits allow you to have a more precise and detailed cut. The material I'll be cutting today is just some construction grade plywood that I painted black. Let's have a look at this 90 degrees quarter inch shaft half inch head V-bit first. This 90 degree V-bit with the half inch head is a great all around bit and a great addition to anyone's CNC bit collection. This bit is particularly useful in a larger project like a sign where you don't have a lot of detail but you need a lot of material removed at once. The next bit we're going to move on to is the 60 degrees quarter inch shaft half inch head V-bit. As you can see this V-bit has a much finer point compared to the 90 degrees bit. In this cutting process, you should pay attention to the amount of cuts the 60 degree bit has to do compared to the 90 degree bit for the same results. As you could see, this bit took considerably more cuts to produce similar results to the 90 degree bit, but this bit was also able to cut deeper and produce finer detail compared to the 90 degree bit. So this is a great bit to have if you need finer detail or you need deeper cuts. Now let's have a quick look at these 1 8 bits for comparison. These 1 8 V bits basically do the same thing that the quarter inch V bits do just on a scaled down level. So you would typically use these V-bits on projects where a lot of fine detail is needed. With the 60 degree bit giving you the finest, deepest cuts, and the 120 degree bit producing the widest, shallowest cuts, but also letting you have the least amount of passes needed for your project. Let's just have a quick look on how these different 1 8 bits cut.
You'll notice some fish spawning at the end of the straight cuts. That's due to setup error on my part and not the bit. I don't particularly use these bits very often, but they do come in very handy when you need finer detail. Because these 1 8 bits are fairly affordable, they're a great addition to your CNC bit collection, just in case you ever need them. So that's the end of my quick primer on V-Bits. Hopefully it helped some of you guys out. If it did help you out, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, please go ahead and leave them in the comments section. And if you've used V-Bits before, let me know which one's your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And remember to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you guys all again next time.